programming, and he's also showing his uh, in, uh, virtual environment, which we could use, and then may, maybe there is a possibility to connect it with, uh, with GeoJapan. So maybe you can talk about this as well. Thank, thank you, Jord. Uh, so welcome. Uh, hi, everyone. Um, uh, my name is Peter Galambos. Uh, I am a pure technical guy, so uh, forgive me if I have uh, a lack of knowledge about uh, education uh, technology or education uh, science. Uh, but with my colleagues in, in our uh, robotics center, we started doing uh, a teaching system um, for industrial uh, robotics. Uh, but we um, figured out that Actually, uh, a gaming environment, uh, a um, teaching environment originally invented for young uh, students is perfectly good for industrial robot programming as well, namely the Blockly uh, uh, programming. So um, let me introduce our system uh, that is uh, uh, just started uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, and. Uh, the results I would like to uh, show are very initial uh, results, actually a kind of proof of uh, concept, but I think it is really, really interesting, and hopefully in the summer edition of uh, this uh, conference, or spring edition, uh, I will uh, show some, some more matured uh, uh, version uh, of, the, of the system. So robots are everywhere. Uh, in our daily life, in the manufacturing, uh, really uh, everywhere, and uh, this is why we need a lot of people who understand how to program uh, robots. And teaching robot programming is, is um, a kind of cumbersome. Uh, it's not easy at all. Need infrastructure, uh, uh, needs uh, room. Uh, it is not, not a thing that can be done at home, uh, let's say, uh, evening during watching a, a good movie. So uh, it's a difficult stuff. Um, what, what are our, our goals? So um, our intention was to creating a uh, robot programming environment that is easy to use. Uh, it's a fun of using uh, this environment, but still useful and adaptable to real industrial environments as well as in school environments and available. So one can just load a page at home and can start learning uh, how to program a real industrial uh, uh, robot. Uh, this is my fallback video, so let me rather show the system in life. Um, so the environment in which we implemented this, uh, this uh, uh, robot uh, uh, programming is uh, called Maxware, which is a virtual environment able to integrate different kind of modalities, including web pages, videos, 2D documents, and interactive 3D content. So as you see, I'm just uh, flying around uh, uh, this uh, uh, virtual room, and a industrial robot arm is put uh, in, the, in the middle of uh, in the middle of this balcony, uh, and I have a few uh, web pages here. Here, the uh, uh, the web page of the robot manufacturer. On the right hand side, I have the web page of the Blockly environment, which is a Google technology and open source Google technology, and in the middle, I have this uh, Blockly environment. Uh, in which uh, in which I'm able to, uh, to to program my robots, these I, I prepared a, a quite complex um, uh, a, a quite complex uh, uh, system um, for a real industrial problem. It's a pick and place uh, task, uh, not important actually uh, what it actually uh, does. But what is interesting that in uh, in this uh, I just uh, reload it. In this web page, I am able to select logic operations, loops, variables, mathematical uh, uh, blocks, uh, text, list, and finally, uh, the commands that I need to program uh, the, the actual uh, robot. So from this component, anyone can start building a, a really useful uh, robot application without writing a line of, uh, of uh, native uh, robot code. Uh, it is quite uh, similar to some, uh, to some, some toys, toy, toy robots, uh, that are available on the market and, and programmed under uh, Blockly. And the magic happens uh, when I click the play button and the robot uh, 
in the system start moving according to the uh, to the robot program uh, created by uh, uh, by these uh, uh, blocks, and. Uh, in this case, this is a simulated robot, but uh, it is fully compatible with the, with the real industrial robot as well. It's just an IP address and the port number and the real industrial ro robot uh, uh, is working instead of the, the vir virtual one. So let's uh, come back to the uh, presentation. So why Maxware? Uh, we, we need VR. Uh, I think for this uh, for this system to make a, a lifelike uh, a scenario, uh, and Maxware provide an extensible framework for VR de development using the web technologies CSS, HTML, and JavaScript, which is well known. Actually, the the uh, um, most of the code running today all over the world is written in JavaScript, and the second one is Python. So uh, uh, everyone can uh, uh, code Java, almost everyone can code uh, uh, JavaScript, or every organization has people to develop in JavaScript. Uh, this system able to integrate 2D and 3D content, and it is free for private use. Of course, for companies who trains robot programmers as a profession, it's not free, but, but for, for students and for educational purposes, it will be uh, uh, free. So, Actually, you, you can try Maxware at home as well for, the, for different uh, purposes. I have a slide about the architecture. Uh, this, is, uh, this is the deep technological uh, details. Uh, we just use uh, a, a cloud-based server in, in Amazon uh, that uh, runs uh, the Blockly web application, the robot simulation, and the robot operating system instance, and uh, the Maxware uh, just communicating over HTTP and WebSockets, uh, quite usual everyday technologies, uh, let me say, and how we proceed. Uh, first of all, we, we have to develop the system a little bit uh, more to be able to scale up, uh, uh, to, to allow this to use, let's say, 100 users uh, at the same time or even more uh, users. Uh, we need to add some gamification aspects uh, because without a goal, it is not, not a real fun programming uh, robots, so we need help uh, doing this, actually. Um, we, have a, we need to have a sustainable model. So, uh, you know, the, the, the cloud uh, computation is a cost factor, so we, we need to have uh, money from, uh, uh, from somewhere. Uh, of course, uh, now we only have this universal robot, this, this one industrial robot in the, in the scene, but we can implement more, more kind of robots, even mobile robots in a scenario, and uh, we need to listen the idea of the community, uh, what to do, what to implement uh, uh, in uh, our uh, system. And uh, actually, uh, this was the uh, uh, demo, uh, but uh, I have two further minutes, so I use this time to uh, to show Maxware a little bit uh, deeper. So the basic concept of Maxware is a ver in which I can, uh, I can fly around, and in the ver there are so-called smart boards. So uh, this uh, smart board in which my presentation is living uh, is an active web page, and I used the slides.com to prepare my uh, presentation. So this is a, a, a quite common web page, but in in another uh, smart board, I'm able to use uh, uh, YouTube and uh, present uh, whatever videos uh, I, uh, I like to show in my presentation. So that is the, 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 the basic purpose of, of Maxver. I have 2D content, 3D content, and the story over the wall stuff. Using the tab button, I, I just... Uh, uh, step forward in my in my story and talk about the the the, the current uh, scenario in the uh, on the screen. So I think my time is uh, over. So thank you very much for your attention, and I, I would be happy to answer the questions if any. So any questions? 